morning and welcome to the mid-year semi-final of Australia's Funniest Home Video Show. Here is your host, Joe Beth Taylor. Hi and welcome to Australia's Funniest Home Video Show's mid-year semi-final. Tonight we get to see the very best Australian video shown so far this year. Of these, six will be chosen to go forward to next week's grand final and have a chance to win the big prizes, including $50,000 cash from Sprite. And there's good news for home viewers too. You can win one of our weekly prizes simply by calling to vote for your favourite video. So keep a pen and paper handy and we give you more details on how to vote later in the show. But right now, let's get into it, starting off with our junior video. Here's a smart little baby, bright as a button. Easy to see, he's no dummy. Hey, Gab, are we identical twins? Why you ask, Whitney? I was wondering if we do everything the same. Now, nah, you're on your own this time, kid. <laughs> Here you are, baby Larry. It's a Bert Newton doll. <laughs> ah, such freedom! Getting around the house with no clothes on. Especially my way. Saves wear and tear on the feet and it's great for my posture. But why am I getting a ball spot? <laughs> This little girl is feeling really sorry for a new crybaby doll. <laughs> there you go, little Ken. I got you that cola with the extra caffeine. How do you like it, eh? <laughs> show business is always a happy hunting ground for videos because despite all the rehearsals and all the preparation something is bound to go wrong on the night this is your director Jason get up off the floor and hit the gun person and remember pull your punch <laughs> in this musical company the director has a reputation for ruthlessness and if he doesn't like your performance he has a subtle way of letting you know you're through <laughs> this traditional ballet is about five young women who think they're swans and wander aimlessly about wondering how to be noticed by the audience then one tries maiming the lead swan <laughs> If you're going to get physical, sport is a great way of expressing yourself. It has all the drama of acting, all the vigour of dance, and half the participants will be winners. Their moment of glory is on the sporting field. The losers receive their glory right here. The guy on the right in the fawn jacket is the coach, and his team is about to have a goal kicked against them. Yeah, well, I don't care. Sportsmanship's the important thing. It doesn't matter who wins or loses. You've got to be a good sport. Oh, I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> Here are the champion downhill skiers arriving at the ski resort. Marvel at their coordination. And muscular dexterity. Can't wait to see them on the slopes. Gee, this sure makes you hungry. Wonder where I can get a feed. Oh, over there, I'll drop in on this picnic. <laughs> G'day, no sauce on mine, please. Last holiday, Tracy went horseback riding, but she couldn't sit down for a week. So this year, she wants something more gentle. But landing, well, I'll just pick something soft. You'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, 
Tony Delapino is training for a black belt and matching shoes, and he's about to demonstrate a trick that you boys and girls should not try at home. Especially you boys. Ah, swore. New series of the video show start straight away. If honourable viewer would be so kind to send a music video to Australia Funny Home Video Show, Rock Bag 9999 across Nest on New South Wales 2065. Don't forget to include $3 for safety. Australia, this is you. Welcome back. In every one of our past grand finals, animal videos have always featured prominently and won many of the major prizes. Well, I'm pleased to say this tradition continues tonight with the following collection of creatures, great and small. Any one of these could win next week's grand final and become Australia's funniest home video. My owner is videoing this, so I'll have to make sure I walk with dignity. I don't want people on that home video show laughing at me. Ooh, ooh I should have that last bit of cat yet. I didn't leave any cheese out last night and I'm starving. What you see in the box? Rye Vita, Bell's Better Mises. <laughs> that should do it. Oh, beauty, where's the veggie night? Hey, pal, you're in my place. What do you mean, your place? I was here first. I'll tell you, this is my place. I always sit here on Thursdays. Well, you're not sitting here today, Bozo, so shut up. If you don't move, I'll just sit on you. That's right, live a breath. OK, we'll do it the hard way. What a drag. <laughs> Hey, mister, how long since you trimmed those nasal hairs? Here, let me help you a bit. <laughs> On this show, there's no formula for a prize-winning video, although most formulas or recipes seem to work best when you add water. The people you're about to see have found the same is true for videos. Here comes a male water skier and a female water skier. You can easily tell which is which. The female has the more graceful dismount. See? Oh, I love this water slide. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to go on the loopy loop or the tunnel stun. So, I went on both. OK, guards. We've been losing a lot of sand from this beach. So be on the alert for anyone who could be stealing it in large quantities. It beats me how they're getting it out of here. Son, I'm gonna show you how to cross a river, just like me dad taught me. Simply follow my footsteps, okay? Let's go. And a one, and a two, and a hey! Yeah, that's just like me dad taught me. I've heard it said that being near water makes you want to go to the toilet, but I don't find that true. What about you, Dick? Oh, hang on, Tracy. I've got a bit of a technical problem here. <laughs> grand final winner is in that lot. Well, one thing is for sure, when you get to the semi-finals, it isn't easy to choose the best because they're all so good. And here now are some more of this year's favourites vying for your votes. Where will the accident occur? Current betting is even money the boy on the trampoline, three to two the baby on the swing, four to one the dog and five to one the girl on the fence. <laughs> get Acme Body Paints. Hours of fun for your kitties, guaranteed to wear off in three months. Ideal for all those little fiddly bits. <laughs> this little boy is feeding the baby animals at the zoo. The first goat was very hungry. The next goat, however, didn't eat anything at all, but his breast shortage stink. <laughs> Sue has a little brother, and if there's one thing he's learned, it's that when things get a bit wobbly, a big sister is someone you can lean on. <laughs> Billyana loves birthdays, and she sure knows how to make them last. Go 
gorgeous little girl's only two years old. I bet you can't wait for her 21st birthday party. We'll be back soon with more videos which could go on to our grand final. dog around with a video camera, it's probably because they know dog videos have won two of our past grand finals. Oh, my owner thinks this is amusing. She pretends to wind me up, see? Well, I go along with it because it's better than the time she tried to put batteries in me. No point getting a flat spin about it. <laughs> now the latest in doggy fashion, people coats. At last, the animal world's answer to fur coats. Just find a human and rip the wrapping right off him. <laughs> Never mind human liberationists. You can have doggy class, doggy pizzazz, doggy style. <laughs> Don't you wish you could flick your tail like this? No! Nope. Don't you wish you could lift your leg like this? <laughs> Look, Henry, if you want to impress the babes, you'll have to learn to dance. Now, come on. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, you're getting it. Oh, but you have to do something about you if you haven't. Oh, my God. And now to the last of our semi-finalists. Keeping in mind that Australia is such a big place of wide open spaces, we thought it might be nice to finish up with a tribute to the outdoors and the sort of people who should probably stay indoors. Learning to walk on stilts can be very dangerous, especially if you practice under a coconut palm. Oh, I had this dream last night. I was, I was a groomsman at a wedding, and me fly was undone. But that wasn't the worst bit. Someone was videotaping me. That couldn't really happen, could it? Traditionally, Santa Claus always enters the house by way of the chimney, but this is no ordinary Santa. He and the elves stopped off at the corner pub. <laughs> this retired Hells Angels is demonstrating his new electronic pre-accident detector. It will emit a high-pitched beep when an accident is about to happen. Dad here is about to demonstrate why it's not a good idea to carry your keys in your back pocket. Hey, Robin, watch me do the solo man. Be careful, Shane. Solo men aren't as tough as men who drink Sprite. And you better watch out for that oar. Watch out for all what? <laughs> well, that's the last of our semi-finalist videos. Our phones will be open soon to record your votes. Now, let's have a look at the major prizes that will be awarded to the winners in next week's grand final. Here is the ultimate audio-visual package. $25,000 worth of superb JVC components, including the latest 72 centimeter colour TV, super VHS video camera, and car home and portable CD systems. Also a state-of-the-art hi-fi system, plus a range of JVC accessories. Second prize is the exciting Toyota Lexan Newport. Now there's a big Toyota for the family, featuring a powerful fuel-injected V6 engine, ABS brakes, central locking, cruise control and climate control. Toyota Lexan Newport. It's everything you expect from Toyota, only bigger. And first prize is from the crisp, clear, light, refreshing taste of Sprite. Sprite will pour $50,000 cash into the hands of the winner of Australia's funniest home video. That ought to bring out the Sprite in you. Right. Yeah. Sprite. Get your pencils and paper ready because after the break we'll be back with our six finalists. Don't forget that our new season starts in two weeks. So get your videos into Australia's funniest home video show, Lockbag 9999, Crow's Nest, New South Wales 2065. the videos you've seen tonight, our producers selected six finalists that will go forward to next week's grand final. And here is finalist number one. We called it Tumbling Twin. Hey, yeah, are we identical twins? Why you ask, Whitney? I was wondering if we do everything the same. Now, nah, you're on your own this time, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Tumbling
Darling Twin, sent in by John Lotherington from Laverton in Victoria. And the number to ring is 0055 602 81. The second finalist is Cry Babies. This little girl is feeling really sorry for a new crybaby doll. <laughs> Crybabies sent in by Mawa Wawa from Liverpool, New South Wales. And the number to ring is 0055602 Third is Fizzy Face. There you go, little Ken. I got you that cola with the extra caffeine. How do you like it, eh? <laughs> Fizzy Face, sent in by Susan Mills from Aberfoyle Park, South Australia. And the number to ring is 0055602 the fourth finalist is Wee Willy Winky. I've heard it said that being near water makes you want to go to the toilet, but I don't find that true. What about you, Dick? Oh, hang on, Tracy, I've got a bit of a technical problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Wee Willy Winky, sent in by Simon Plunkett from Albury, New South Wales. And the number to ring is 0055 60284. Finalist five is Happy Blower. Juliana loves birthdays and she sure knows how to make them last. Sent in by Carolyn Sherwell from Shepparton, Victoria. And the number to ring is 0055-60285. And the sixth lucky finalist is Up the Creek. Hey, Robin, watch me do the solo man. Be careful, Shane. Solo men aren't as tough as men who drink Sprite. And you better watch out for that ore. Watch out for all what? <laughs> Up the Creek, sent in by Alan Rubin from North Parramatta, New South Wales. And the number to ring is 0055-60286. We'll be meeting all six finalists next week in the studio for the big vote. They'll be staying at the Hotel Intercontinental, five-star luxury right in the heart of Sydney. They're such fantastic videos, I certainly wouldn't want to be a judge myself. And I'd just like to say from now on, the fate of the six finalists is in your hands. So pick up the phone and call the number corresponding to your favourite video. Leave your name, address and telephone number and you could be selected at random to win great prizes. The call costs a maximum of 50 cents and the lines are open now and close at 5pm this Thursday, June 22nd. Only by calling and voting can you win one of these. Third prize is a huge 51 centimetre JVC colour TV courtesy of Brashes. With over 100 stores Australia wide, that's why the answer is Brashes. Second prize is this audio visual trifecta from JVC. A state of the art compact video camera, 34 centimetre colour television and VCR all from JVC, the inventors of VHS. First prize is a tropical holiday at beautiful Palm Cove Travelodge Resort for two adults and two children flying East West Airlines. Palm Cove has everything that nature can offer. Well, as I said, they're fantastic prizes. And that's the end of our semi-final. I'd like to congratulate the six finalists and wish them the best of luck for our grand final next week where one of them will win the $50,000 in cold hard Sprite cash. In case you didn't get the phone numbers or you'd like another look at the finalists, we're about to show them again. So till next week's grand final, good night everyone and may the best man, or, or video maybe, win. <laughs> good night everyone. Coming up next, the best and worst of Red Faces number four. 
Then at 9 o'clock, the laughs continue as Al encounters a burglar making an unlawful entry in the hilarious Married with Children. Children.